power of focus. And that's what we want to create here and every one of you that are here in this meeting today to go out, to leave here absolutely deadly focused to go out and build a business and reach your dreams. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, let's begin. The power of focus. I can barely, I can barely see. Can you see this out there okay? Yeah, I can't see it so well. Okay, let's go. You're, you're, yeah, go ahead. I, I don't have a clicker. Yeah, that's bad. It gives, it gives me a little bit of control. Let's go. I'm not a control freak, but hey, every once in a while. Okay. Focus is a critical ingredient for success. You cannot have true success without the ability to focus. Focus is intense concentration, like that magnifying glass that I talked to you about. Really important. Focus equals obsession. Now I'm a little bit OCD. A little bit obsessive compulsive disorder going on. So I, I can appreciate this idea of becoming obsessed with something. But I'm going to tell you something. You've got to want this so bad that you become absolutely obsessed with your success. Maybe a little possessed at times. But it's serious. Obsession is how you win. Now does anybody in here want to earn an above average income in this business called vacation? Does anybody in this room want to go diamond? Hey, you like that diamond club you saw yesterday? That's an elite society. But there's enough room for every one of you in here to become part of it. If you want it. Not without some blood, sweat, and tears, by the way. And a lot of obsession. Focus is having your blinders on. Single eye, single vision. That's a, listen, that's a strong thing. We live in a world that is so full of distractions. We gotta get that, those focused rays through our magnifying glass. Focus is being blind and deaf to all distractions. Now, I, I discovered early on in this business that distractions come in all forms. And distractions, Preston, aren't fair. When you, when, you, when you figure it out, life is not fair, right? The distractions aren't fair because they come from places you think they never would come. Such as family. You would think family would be the most supportive thing of what you're out to do, right? Spouses? No, I'm sorry. Brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins? No, it doesn't work that way. Best friends? No. Distractions. Financial distractions. Everything that can distract you will distract you in this business. But you know your mind? That's where, that's where success is found. You know that, right? It's inside of you. It's not external to you. It's within you. And you got to work because your mind is like the rays of the sun. It's got all this, this broad stuff going on. you got to learn to take those, those thoughts and harness them. To take them captive. To make them work for you and to force yourself to be in the place through discipline where you are focused on building this business 100%. Donald, you know what I'm talking about, right? I know you do. But we got to say no to all the distractions. You gotta recognize those things that are distractions. Do you know that reps on your team can be big distractions? They're some of the biggest. <laughs> some of the biggest. But hey, if you can't change their diapers, if you can't give them a bow bow and put them to bed, go out and find a new team. That's what I say. Listen, Jim Rome. A most powerful human being and speaker, he said this, and this has been with me from the very beginning of my career in network marketing. He says, the first step from average income to fortune income is focus and concentration. That's the first step. So you're not going to get to number two, to base number two, if you can't get to the first base. You know that, right? We got to begin where it matters being focused and concentrated on what you want this business to bring you. There is a war on focus. I like to think sometimes that we're, every day we're in a battle and Donald knows this. We're, we're at war every day. Of course, we're at war with every other opportunity that is out in the marketplace. You know that, right? Every day there's thousands, maybe tens of thousands of network marketing 
out there. That, and that's just one sector of opportunity that's fighting to recruit. So every day we're fighting that. Every day. Donald, you make me aware of that very often. We are in a battle every day. But we're also, if we take it to, a, to another point of view, we're also every day in a war on focus. The first thing you got to do when you get out of bed every morning, and by the way, getting out of bed is the first victory of the day. You know that, right? You got to get focused. You know, Woody Allen, he said something that made me smile. He said that, uh, that 90% of success is just showing up every day. Art Williams, who some of you are aware of, mm -hmm. a tremendous leader in network marketing, built a great company, Al Williams, Prime America today. He said similar, he said 90% of success is showing up every day. But he went on. He said the other 10% is an absolute dogfight. It's just doing it every single day. Just a little bit more than somebody else. Are you showing up every day in your business? And I'm not talking about showing up and calling the same old people. That's There's good. a place for that. That's good. I'm talking about showing up every single day on the hunt, on the prowl, on the pursuit of new people, new blood, new leaders to drive your business to where it needs to go next. This is a very serious business that we are involved in. Much is at stake. We are not going to go to 25,000 reps by the end of this year. We're not going to go to 100,000 reps by the end of 2016. Excuse me, 2000, 2016. And a million reps by the end of 2020. Unless we get incredibly focused. I'm reminded of when JFK made that incredible announcement in the early 60s about going to the moon. You know the rockets they built? You know your, your cell phone has far more computer power than the rockets they built to go to the moon? And when he made that statement, there was no, there was no strategy to get to the moon. Didn't exist. But he was a bold enough president to declare those things that were not as though they were. And upon declaring it, a war began, a fight began to get to the moon. And you know what NASA did? They obsessed themselves with the moon. They didn't just talk about it. They, they put globes at it. They put pictures of the globe of the moon, pictures of the moon everywhere. Everybody, is, all they could see is all they could focus on was getting to the moon, getting to the moon, getting to the moon. And in July of 1969, folks, we got to the moon. I'm here to tell you today that vacation is going to the moon. We're going to the moon. And we need some forward-thinking, obsessive people who will get focused like never before to get this done. Hey, there's a thousand of you in this room. If we could get three or four that really just sold out, yeah. sold out to make this happen no matter what, and it's old. But I got a feeling there's more than three or four. Am I right? We're going to the moon, Donald. <laughs> Amen, brother. The number one reason for failure in network marketing is the lack of focus. Number one reason. Now I can't fix you. I can't control you. I can't change you. If I could press a button and do that, I would do it. But I have enough trouble fixing me. We gotta work on our own stuff. We gotta dig our own wells in this life, right? This 